Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode, we will be looking at reporting African violets. So you would probably remember a video I had taken on this plant. To revisit it, you can watch the link above. So I have studied a little more about these plants over time and so here it goes. So like I said, this plant does not like water falling on its leaves one bit. And this plant in front of you is a living example of the same. You can see the leaves have gone almost rusty and this is a classic example of the ill effects of too much water either in the soil or water falling on their tender leaves. As you can see, the leaves are very soft to touch, almost succulenty. So the more water we add, either in the soil or on the leaves themselves, the plant gets overwhelmed and these are the symptoms that prevail. Flaky leaves, dead spots that are brown in colour, etc, etc. So my reasons are very clear in my case. It is because this plant was kept directly under this hanging pot so the water from this directly fell on the leaves of the plant and that resulted in these brown spots. There is another cause as well that causes this plant to have brown spots on the leaves and other areas of the plant which is caused either by crown or root rot. This is more difficult to manage because this can be fatal. This is caused by a fungus called Phytophthora fungus that attacks the roots and the crown of the plant. The leaves become all mushy and soggy, the overall look of the plant changes, flowers start fading, etc. So I'm sure that my plant is suffering from one of these problems and I need to take some punitive measures to at least try and save this plant. First, let us remove the plant slowly from the container. You can also separate the pups while doing this. I'm not going to propagate this as of now because my focus here is to salvage the plant. So now I will be transferring the plant into this hanging container. So the advantages of using this container is one that it offers excellent drainage wherein all the water goes out. And this plant is a little bit weird. This does not like going fully dry before watering. It likes consistently moist soil but not overly watered soil. That balance must be maintained to get this plant thriving. Second is that this is shallow compared to the other containers. So here the African violets have very shallow root systems. So the larger the container, the more would be the soil layer between the root system, which would ultimately remain moist and cause root rot and all other diseases associated with excess water. And the violets also like growing in wider containers, but not deeper ones. Now for the soil mix, I will be using 50% sand, 10 is to 10 ratio of compost and neem mix and 30% garden soil to help retain little bit of moisture. Now here I am using a new element in the potting mix, which is neem cake that is derived from the crushed neem kernels that are byproducts after extracting the oil from the neem seeds. I must say that the aroma of this neem cake is just excellent and I've never had such sweet smelling manure in my garden. And just the aroma of this is enough for me to buy this even more. So neem cake is excellent in warding off pests and also has antifungal properties which I hope will help this plant in particular. So these are some of the nutrient values that this neem mix has. I am basically using this for pest and disease management rather than for its nutrient potential. I am also adding some in my rose containers since thrips also pupate in the soil. Hope this helps in controlling these thrips as well. Will shortly let you know on its efficacy. Mix all this well and add it into the container, fill it up to a level and then add the plants. Since the plant has a tendency to spread, I have placed the main plant in the center and the cuttings on the side, well isolated from the mother plant. You can remove the dead or deceased leaves, that's something I am not doing as of now. Now the only thing left is to add water and hang this in an area where it gets dapple sunlight. Make sure while adding water, do not wet their leaves. This must be protected from rain, so this chajja here would definitely help the plant fight these elements. 
So the only thing I have to tell you at the end of this video is that don't lose hope with any of your plans. Try giving it your best, don't abandon them just like that. They are an esteemed member of your family too, treat them like one and they will give you much happiness in return. So with this, we have come to the end of yet another episode. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more updates. The links are given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, goodbye.